Alright, alright guys, welcome back to another video. I am back guys on schedule. Got some of my old videos uploaded. Now I'm back to my desserts. This is my sweet potato pie. This is a very easy recipe, very flavorful. So I'm going to jump right into this video. I'm going to show you exactly how I put it together. Alrighty guys, so I have my sweet potatoes baked off and I discovered baking them off. Uh, a few years ago and I haven't changed since and I'm going to be using some self-rising flour I have three eggs fresh out of the yard I have some sugar some vanilla extract some cinnamon and I have one stick unsalted butter some evaporated milk some brown sugar and I have my Pillsbury uh, crust which is still in the refrigerator Alright guys, so you can see I have my sweet potatoes inside of the bowl And this is my baking sheet I'm going to get this in the oven while my oven comes up to temp 350 degrees And that's going to help my crust to set uh, So that it doesn't be soggy on the bottom So I'm going to get that in the oven And then I'm going to come back now and I'm going to add This is one and a half cups of sugar well, actually, this is one cup, but I added another half of a cup. And then I'm going to come in now and add my light brown sugar. This is a half of a cup. Alright, then I'm coming in and adding my cinnamon. Now you can add as little or as many as you like. I happen to love cinnamon, so... I didn't have an exact measurement of how much I use. Alright, now I'm adding my vanilla extract. And excuse the sugar on my hand. <laughs> and I think that will probably be about two tablespoons. I just added the rest of that bottle. And I'm going to add my melted butter to it. And you just want to come in and give this a mix. And what this is going to do, guys, is also going to help pull out any strings that's inside of this potato. And once I stop mixing this, then I like to clean my beaters off so that I don't put those strings back inside of there and now I'm coming in and adding my, uh, this is a half cup of evaporated milk and then I'm going to come in and add my eggs to this that's going to be three eggs Now I only like to do a half cup of evaporated milk. I don't like for my batter to be uh, too wet. Alright, so I got my three eggs in. You can see I have clean uh, beaters. And now I'm just going to give this another mix. Get everything well combined. And once I get this combined, then I'm going to come in and add my flour to it. Now, you don't have to add flour, but I just always saw my mom add a little flour to it. So, that's definitely what I continue to do. And you can see my beater still had a little bit more strings on it. So, that's why I like to kind of clean it off first. And then the second time, it'll kind of catch the rest of the strings off of it. Out of it, I should say. Alright, so now I'm coming in and I'm going to add, this is about a fourth of a cup of self-rising flour. And then I'm going to give this just one more final uh, beat and then it'll be ready to transfer to our baking pan or to our pie crust.
All right, guys, this is the consistency right here that I like. Nice and smooth, not too runny, not too loose. And this is the way that the pie crust came. It looks like it has a little bit of flour down at the bottom. And I like to leave my pie crust in the refrigerator until the very last minute before I add my filling. I just think that it makes a much better product that way. So I'm just going to come in and add my filling up to the top. All right, then I'm just going to get it in and smooth it out a little bit. All right, and this is going to go directly on top of my baking pan. I'm going to clean my board off on top of my baking pan in the oven, 350 degrees for about mm, 30 to 40 minutes. Alright guys, so my other pie is in the oven and I decided I wanted to show you guys how I make my regular pies and how my family like it. So I just went on and I filled another pie crust with filling. And I didn't mean to put that much filling in it, but we're still just going to let it go. But we actually like a crust on the top of our sweet potato pie. So, you know, the pie crust, they normally come two in a pack. So I'll fill one with filling, and then I'll take the other one out of the pan. And just kind of lay it on the top like this. Normally I'm bad at doing this, but I just lay it on the top like that. And then I take my fork and I crump it down all the way around the edges. And I'll come back and uh come back and show you guys how it looks once I finish crimping it down. Alright, so this is how it looks after I crimp the edges down. And then I like to just come and put a few slits in the top of this. Now it's not the prettiest pie, but this is the way that we like it. The looks does not bother us at all. <laughs> now shout out to my friend also for gifted me with these knives all right so once I do that then I'm gonna get that in the oven also Okay guys, so I just want to show you this clip just so you'll know that not everyone is perfect in the kitchen. So if you have any kind of a mishap, do not beat yourself up about it because it happens to everyone and it happens to the best of us. And I definitely didn't have to cut this pie that big, but <laughs> we're still going to roll with it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just get that, make sure that it's perfectly cut through. And now uh, here's when the craziness starts. It's always that first piece that gives you the most problem coming out. I don't care if you have a pie cutter or scooper or whatever you call it. That first piece is always going to give you a little problem and that is exactly what happened here
And I thought I had it all out. So here I am looking for my little saucer to put it on and nope. Yeah, everything's still at the bottom. <laughs> But it's always that first piece that happens like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get all of this out. Then I'll cut another piece and show you guys. Alright guys, so this is my second attempt. This came out much better. I actually got my spatula. And that did the trick. You can see that came out nice and clean. Perfect. And this is actually enough for two pieces of pie, so... And my clumsy self almost turned it over. Alright guys, well, I'm going to take a thumbnail, and then let's give this a taste. Alright, alright guys, I am back. That was a pretty eventful episode. Alright, but nonetheless, finally got my piece of pie out. First pie always comes out looking like crap. But here we go. It holds together good. Crust not soggy at the bottom. That's what I want. Hmm. That's the perfect consistency. Nice and smooth. Now crust is definitely not soggy. That cinnamon and that butter. So good guys. Mm. Alright. Okay guys, I just wanted to come back right quick and show you how the one with the crust on the top came out. Hopefully I don't turn it over. This is how my family likes our sweet potato with the crust on top. Same mixture. Still holds up well. Crust not super soggy, it still needed to cool down a little bit more. Alright guys, I thank you guys for still watching my videos that I've been uploading over because of those hackers. I really appreciate you still liking and commenting on those videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe if you are new, and also turn on the post notifications so you'll know when I post. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And until next time, guys, peace.